Please don't forget to like our page on Facebook and to subscribe on YouTube. Here we are at the last section. So we've made a wobble monster. We've made a character with a moving part, maybe. We've done some landscapes. And now we're going to look at how we bring it together and make a simple story. It's great fun. You can do whatever you like. A few tips for the first trial. Try and do quite a short story and make it quite simple. And then as you get more confident, you can expand and make it much more exciting with more elements in it. But looking forward to seeing the outcome. Let's get started. You can add music whenever you like. You can have exciting music, scary music, any sort of music you like. You can even add special effects. Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. When you move your shadows, if it's too fast, you can't see it. Everything has to be controlled. So here is Lucy. And it's exactly the same if you have a puppet with a single stick like Brutus. So the story, the first thing you need to do is look at the character and how they live, their normal daily life. Oh, <laughs> here I am. My name is Lucy and I am going to take you to my favourite place in the whole wide world. Off we go. Change the scene. Ah, oh, here I am in my lovely garden. Oh, it's the favourite place to be. Beautiful trees. I love my trees. And oh, look at these shrubs and bushes. Perfect for anyone to see. Second story section. But one day, <clears throat> something terrible happens. In our case, it's the Wobble Monster. Make way for me. Brutus the Brutish. Ah, a beautiful garden. I'm going to stamp. I'm going to crash. I'm going to crunch. I'm going to destroy this place and make it nice and dirty. <laughs> oh no, my beautiful garden, the trees, they've been destroyed. Oh, my, my bushes and shrubs squashed flat. Oh. What could be worse? Lucy checked in her large gardening book and realised the one thing to get rid of a wobble monster was flowers. So she planted lots of seeds across the garden and she waited. And she waited. And she waited. The final section is what happens? What is the outcome? The conclusion of the story? And suddenly, growing up from the ground, Beautiful flowers, tall, short, beautiful smelling flowers. When Brutus returned, he gave a sniff and oh, oh, that that's not very nice. That 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 tickles my nose. Oh, oh dear no, I don't like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh no, it's past. Ah, Brutus disappeared and was never seen again. And Lucy replanted the flowers and the trees and the shrubs and in no time at all, her garden was back as she loved it. Fantastic. What an achievement, your very first shadow puppet performance. You should be so proud of yourselves. So you've done your first show now and it's up to you to keep trying, keep developing, keep trying new things out. Everything about shadow puppets is about trial and error. Take your torch, take a light, Walk around the house, hold it up to things. You'll find that shadows are amazing. They can be cast from all sorts of objects. Try putting a light through something like a plant. Looks amazing. Please share your videos with us. Add comments if you think there's something you would like a bit more information about or something that you want to develop more. Please let me know and I'll create another video for you. It's been fantastic and a pleasure to share my time with you. Don't forget to leave those comments and like our pages. Bye for now. Please don't forget to like our page on Facebook and to subscribe on YouTube.